Grizzly bear populations are in recovery in the Northern Continental Divide ecosystem, which includes Glacier National Park, the Bob Marshall Wilderness, and much of the Rocky Mountain Front. MTN's Nicole Miller has more on the road to recovery and what the future could hold for management of grizzly bears. A few decades ago, grizzly bears were on the brink of extinction. We almost lost one of our iconic species. Today, grizzly bears are not only back, they've recovered to an abundant population in northwest Montana. We have the largest population of grizzly bears in the lower 48 states is here in northwest Montana. Fish, Wildlife and Parks Region 1 Education Officer Dylan Tabish says the protection of grizzlies under the Endangered Species Act helped the population rebound to around 1,000 today. But at one point, he estimates there were just 100 left. Through the hard work of biologists, wildlife managers, and residents who changed their habits, whether it was bear proofing their food when they're out camping or storing garbage in secure locations or using bear spray. All these efforts and these passionate people who are devoted to saving grizzlies came together to create what we're in now, which is a recovered population. Tabish says it's one of the most amazing conservation success stories ever. It shows that the Endangered Species Act works and that there are efforts we can all do and take to protect and conserve these species. Tabish says grizzlies remain a threatened species under the Endangered Species Act, except in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, where they were recently delisted due to recovery. He says state, federal, and tribal agencies are currently putting together a conservation strategy for the possibility of the federal government delisting them here. This would be the game plan for ensuring that that population remains stable if and when the uh, federal government decides to delist our NCDE grizzlies. Nicole Miller, MTN News, Kalispell.